I think the key when you think about that question of who's really um, the trends and the disruptors, it's the consumers. The consumers are the true disruptors. Yes, it's marketers and it's publishers and it's networks. They're trying to be disruptors. But at the end of the day, they're really just trying to catch up with consumers because in today's television and video landscape, it's all about choice and control. Consumers have the choice and control to watch what they want, when they want, and on what devices they want. And as a publisher like myself at Hulu and the marketers that are here at this conference, we all need to adapt quickly to maintain the pace that the consumers are because what they're thinking about now is what we need to be thinking about six months ago. And that's really the core of what the disruption is in this landscape right now. My role is the head of sales for the national advertising team there. And in that role, I work with the biggest holding companies, the biggest agencies, and the biggest marketers around their long tail video solutions around the upfront, around the scatter marketplace. And for us, the way we try to keep pace in this marketplace is really making sure that we're providing effective targeting for marketers, making sure they're reaching their consumers and really de delivering ROI. And ROI can mean a lot of different things. So for us, it's all about measurement and attribution making sure that we have the right measurement tools in terms of the scale that we can provide, the attribution tools in terms of whether or not we're lifting their um, lower funnel metrics or their upper funnel metrics. So we work partner with many research vendors and me measurement companies to prove out that ROI so that they can continue to invest in what we believe is that intersection of entertainment and technology that Hulu sits right in the middle of. We are one of those technology companies that are allowing the marketers the opportunity to keep pace with the rating points that they're losing in linear live television. Now, there's no there's no secret around the fact that live television ratings are different today than what they were last year, five years ago, ten years ago. And as marketers look to re-aggregate that audience, they're trying to find more ad-supported places where that audience exists. And Hulu is one of the homes of one of those premium content providers that has that type of um, exposure for marketers. So I feel like we're at the forefront of being able to provide those services and then really making sure that that targetability for the marketers is really important. So we're partnering to bring in behavioral segments, internal targeting segments, importing first and third party data to create segments that really allows us to really reach the core consumers and deliver the KPIs that the marketers are looking for. We do have a lot of first party data. So we do know who our consumers are, we know where they live, what devices they're watching, what content they're watching and having that as the backbone of our data is really helpful when we start to work with other advertisers and their data. I think when you think about the audience and how they've changed over the last five years, it's become more sophisticated in the types of targeting that we can do. When I first got here five years ago, we were doing age and sex and gender, and we were doing able, like if you wanted to target comedies or dramas, and we could do that. We still do that today, but we've evolved our, our, our targeting ability over the same period. We used to offer some basic blue eye targeting and create some internal segments, but now we're doing much more robust targeting, importing people's first party data, utilizing a third party to kind of create lookalike models and matches, and really hone in to those really specific audiences audiences that marketers want to reach, which is really just driving significant ROI to those advertisers because they know that an ad, a dollar spent on Hulu is not a dollar wasted because they're going to get the net results. And as I mentioned earlier, we're working with a lot of measurement companies as well to prove out that ROI. So we work with those marketers to ingest their data, create the segments that they want to reach, and then prove out the KPIs that they want. So for one advertiser, it might be actual purchase. For another advertiser, it's brand awareness. And no matter what the KPI is, we want to work with each and every marketer in the industry to really hone in on their video solutions. Content is super important. You need to have something for everybody, right? Especially when you're trying to reach your core customers. And we're investing significantly into core content. Obviously, we have our traditional subscription video on demand service. Uh, we have the best of last night's TV. We have a growing library of content. We're obviously creating a ton of Hulu originals as evidenced by the Emmy Award wins that we won last year with the Handmaid's Tale and others. Um, and we have a lot of stuff coming up. I mean, even just recently this, this week, we signed an exclusive agreement with Fox to pick up 13 seasons of King of the Hill, The Cleveland Show, and exclusive rights to Family Guy and Futurama because we're the home of basically every adult animation series that's in the marketplace right now, you can get exclusively on Hulu. And one of the Hulu visions is that we start with the viewer. And when you start with the viewer and you make all of your decisions based off of what the viewer wants, it really allows you to innovate better. So if you think about some of the things that we've done, we've innovated with some of our great content, like A Handmaid's Tale. We've innovated with offering live television. We've innovated with our new user interface, which allows for that personalized experience that I talked about. We've innovated with the ad tech solutions and 
the um, marketing promotions that we've put into the market. Uh, for example, most recently in October, um, we spend a lot of our, our time um, internally and externally celebrating Huluween, which is October for its Halloween Hulu style. And it is a internal event, but it's also a huge external event where we created content around it, we curated content collections around it, and then we packaged it up for marketers and we sold sponsorships of our Huluween on Hulu. And it's something that gets everybody internally really excited. And it's just another way of you know keeping the viewer at the heart of we know that they're interested in horror and thriller content during the month of October and we want to super serve them.